production that's messed up Because these people do a lot of simple shit to impress us While everyone was trying to outdo the last man I was just a ghost trying to catch some his pack man What is up YouTube? Welcome to Solid and Welcome to a palace unboxing Now I actually acquired these items like Fuck, I don't even, it was like a month ago. I mean, this was all the SS17 shit that I wanted and one SS17 item that I didn't really care for, but I figured I'd get to resell. I have just been so freaking busy that I've been somewhat backed up and I don't want to do just back-to-back -back unboxings. I like mixing up the content. So I do have a bunch of unboxings coming though. At the time of filming this, I'm also going to be filming a bait video, a fucking Supreme unboxing, a couple other brand unboxings. I just have so much shit piling up. Not to mention, at the time of filming this, I do not know if this is going to be posted after or before, but I will be headed to SneakerCon, so I have a bunch of content that I would... Oh, man. I just have a lot of content coming on this channel. If you are not subscribed, definitely do that. If you enjoy content such as this, subscribe and stay tuned, because I got a ton of shit coming. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell and join the notification. Game, game, game. I couldn't really, like, outstretch my arm, because I would hit this little bitch. Oh, and of course, while you are subscribing and doing all that great fucking shit, Make sure you go follow me on Instagram. Anyways, we got the gold switchblade in hand. Let's crack in to this unboxing. Now you guys might say like, oh, Jacob, you only got bags. Er, wrong, bitch. I got a box. We got an unboxing. I've actually only ever had one person say that. I just feel like everyone calls them unboxings regardless because no one wants to say like, oh, palace unbagging. That's just weird. I actually do not need the knife for this because it has nice serrated edges. Serrated? 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 I think it's serrated. First up, we have, I think this is the t-shirt. Oh, this is the long sleeve. I ordered the long sleeve. Oh, that's why. First of all, this long sleeve is super freaking nice. As you can see, we have the Elton John Palace long sleeve right here. I had to get this Elton John collab. I wish I would have got a bigger size so I could be given it to my mom, but to be honest, my mom would probably just try to sell it because she does not really give a fuck about that shit. But she is a big fan of Elton John. So when my uncle Dondi died, uh, at the time she had the cassette, she had a cassette of Elton John in the cassette player and she would always listen to Daniel from Elton John. That was like literally on repeat after my Uncle Donnie died. That song obviously just has a really deep meaning for her and she just really likes that song and so she obviously loves Elton John. As you can see looking at this graphic, one thing that is kind of unique if you look at his glasses, his glasses actually make up a P for palace. Uh, so yeah, I thought that was kind of dope. Little creative touch. I like the colorations, the purple and the yellow, and then the palace boldly stated above his dome piece. This is actually subliminal, sub, sublim, sublimated, subliminal, blah, 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 subliminal messaging. Anyways, uh, it's actually like dyed into the fabric. So this isn't, I mean, I guess it could be a, like a laser print, but this isn't screen printed on. The quality of this is definitely super nice. I got a size medium, I believe. And uh, I was told, no, I was told on t-shirts you can go true to size on Hoodies, you size up. I know that because I got a hoodie I fucking wanted and of course it was too freaking small. Next for the unbagging, we have this other Elton John tee. Now this is the short sleeve. Both of these will probably be for sale. I might keep one of them, I haven't quite decided. But regardless, we have this once again, same exact graphic, not really anything to show off. It's just got shorter sleeves, that's all. Same exact thing as the last thing. The short sleeve sold out first. The reason I got the long sleeve was because I got my jacket, which is, this is for my personal. Hopefully it fits me how I want it to. If it doesn't, then I'll sell it. But if it does fit me, then I will be keeping this. And then I got the short sleeve to sell. And then the long sleeve, like they just happened to have it in stock when I did my checkout. So I went back and got the long sleeve, but the short sleeves went quick. I was actually surprised that I even got that. So for this piece, we have the palace. Ooh, this is kind of light, which I like. We have this like palace hoodie, like zip up hoodie jacket thing. The thing about Palace is Palace is really unique in the sense that they do a bunch of like, they do a bunch of shit that's like way different to me, but sometimes I just don't like it. Like how they did this ribbing, I don't really like, it's very thin. Like this ribbing is kind of like a, it's like impossible to see, but you can kind of see, it's not like a normal cuff, but this is like some kind of elastic band that you would see on like boxers. That's the perfect way to put it. Boom, I'm so fucking stoked that I just thought of the perfect way to describe that. This right here, this elastic band is kind of like the same elastic band you would see on your freaking boxers. Oh shit, I don't got the Supremes on. Man, I'm looking like a fucking broke boy. Tagging on point. And then you have this all navy jacket. Let's put this thing on and see how it fits. The cuffs on the wrists are the exact same. So once again, you have that boxer freaking like elastic. And I actually, 
like it on the wrists, I think, but I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it on like the, around the hood, you know? I don't know, I guess we'll see. I shouldn't judge it before I try it on. I mean, it's a dope piece, for sure. It definitely, their elastic is stupid tight, but I do kind of fuck with this piece. I think I'm gonna keep it still. That's how it fits on the bottom. Get the fuck out the way, chair. And then that's how it fits up top. Oh, shit. Okay, well, anyways. Ooh, I kind of like that, actually. That looks really good. This elastic actually kind of keeps it around the neck, so it makes it like a good little, you know, I don't know. It, it makes it so it doesn't just, like, hang loose. Huh? <laughs> it's lighter. So, yeah, I kind of fuck with it, actually. Put the hood up. And then on the back, it says Palace. It's a lot more visible than I thought, so that's kind of dope. Yeah, I think I fuck with this. This is pretty tight. I, uh, I imagine that I will be keeping this piece. It'll look really good with my navy Adidas Z&E pants. Ooh, boy! The main zipper is really nice, and then these zippers, I think these are kind of like water-resistant zippers, but they just don't zip as nice as like the main zipper. I feel like uh, my critique of this is much more in-depth because I'm trying to decide whether I should keep it for my personal or not, and I'm very picky about stuff that I keep for my personal collection because I just have so much fucking shit. Like, if I buy something and I keep it, it's it's gotta, like, seriously be perfection. Anyways, once again, we have this beautiful box right here, so let's crack into it and see what we got. Well, I already, I already know what I got, but you guys don't, so... The unveiling. I'm kind of mad at... Like, their packaging is always so good. It comes in these, like fucking plastic bags it's got these fat ass trifurgs on it and then the packaging for their hat just low-key kind of sucks donkey dick but it's just like a normal package anyways let's get into it we got the freaking tree camo uh palace hat right here the p hat you got the p embroidered or sewn in not embroidered this is like a felt letter or whatever sewn in on the front you have palace embroidered on the back right there and then you have this all over tree print now i went for this and the vest, I was gonna sleep on the pants, but I just, I kinda like the vest, and the reason that I wanted to get the vest is because I wanted to discuss that compared to the North Face. And sadly, since I didn't get that, I won't be able to make a separate video on that. Those two are not the same, but I do think it's funny that a lot of people make those comparisons. I actually did discuss that. For me personally, I feel like the Palace one is a little bit better because it's actual real tree camo. Like, you, you see the, look, just look at the camo, guys. You see that, that's real tree camo. You can see some like woodland, freaking tree branches, some woodland leaves, right? And then you have the Supreme North Face camo, and that's like dead leaves on the ground camo. Like, it's just not the same. This is a lot better of a camo. And what I will say also is it's kind of fire because you can actually unzip the sleeves on that, and then the pants, you can unzip the bottom pant leg. So you can go from a jacket and pants to a vest and shorts. That's kind of fire. Palace always be doing some weird, crazy, inventive type of shit, and that's why I appreciate them. Anyways, the uh, Elton John long sleeve and short sleeve and then the Woodland Camo Camp Cap will probably be for sale on Robitus and Poppy, so if you would like to purchase either or any of those items, I should say, then make sure you go follow my resell account, which is Robitus and Poppy. That'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. Like I said earlier, make sure you go follow me on my personal Instagram account, especially since one of these items are for my personal, so that way you guys will see how I rock it and how I style it. So definitely go follow me on my personal Instagram account. That is at the Star Life that has been somewhere on the screen this entire fucking time. And of course, like always, will be down in the description. Also, just because I know I'm going to get a bunch of comments about this t-shirt, I yeah, I bought it for a resale. I, I paid way too much money for it. Just it, If you want it, good luck. It's, it, it's fucking expensive. I would recommend sizing up, though. Oh, also, I got a neck tattoo. In fact, it's kind of hurting right now, but whatever. The weather in Washington is so bipolar today. It's been like rainy and then sunny, then rainy again. Now it's getting sunny. Fucking A. I'm tired of changing my exposure. Anyways, let me know your guys' opinions about this drop and just SS17 in general. I think Palace... I mean, I wasn't super stoked on this season for Palace, but I will say they did have some fire, and I'm really glad that I caught this. I personally feel like this was super slept on. I think this piece was fire, but a lot of people just, I don't know, I feel like because it's not super bold and the Palace is somewhat, it's a little bit more discreet since it has this like white waterproof covering over it, 
I feel like that makes people sleep on it. And there's no Triferg. And, you know, people sleep on Palace when there's no Triferg. For me personally, though, I think that's one of the dopest pieces. It's probably in, it's probably my favorite piece from the season. And now that I've tried it on and kind of like, now that I'm seeing what they did to it and like actually how they put it together, I think I fuck with it even more. But let me know your guys' opinions on all of these pieces down in the comments below. Subscribe if you have not already. I am at the time of recording this 11 away from 100,000 and I am so fucking excited. By the time you guys see this, I will probably already be at 100 and something thousand. The channel has been growing quickly and I seriously cannot say thank you enough. I appreciate the support more than you know. Anyway, so subscribe and join the fucking squad. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep living the star life. Keep a bad yellow bitch with that nine above a click. No, it's yards, not inches when you measure my dick.